Boys track and field state championships are this week and some of our best local athletes will make their way to Charleston looking to bring home a title. And in class one, Gavin Fisher won both the high hurdles and 300 meter hurdles at sectionals. He's fast, but when you watch him closely, there's something else that makes him go. It might be his socks. I started these socks back in freshman year. Started with the mini wheat ones, and I was just like, why not? And then when I moved to DuCoin, everyone was like, you're the socks guy. And I'm like, yep. So now every time I do anything sport-wise, I got to wear the socks. That way they know who it is. Also on Thursday, Goreville's Cole Rushing will be competing in the 100-meter dash. He won the DuCoin sectional in a time of 11.15 seconds. Entering the finals meet, he has one of the top 10 fastest times. I feel really excited to be going to stay, especially as a senior. I think I'll leave a good last mark on my high school career, and I'll be excited to get to run to state and compete against those worthy advocates. In the Class 1A 3200-meter run, Carmi White County's Ty Barbary qualified for the race, and DeCoin's Landon Swinney won the DeCoin sectional and enters with the eighth best time of 9.57.30. Now on Friday in Class 2A, Carterville will be represented with Preston Summers in the 100-meter dash. Townsend Barton is another lion looking to prove himself. He qualified in both hurdle events with top six times in both races. Now Carbondale's Jackson Grant is one to keep an eye on. He enters with the fourth best shot put distance and fifth best throw in discus. Marion's Dyson Roy qualified in the pole vault yeah. with a jump of 15 feet 6 inches. He could be another one to take home state honors and these are just a few of the great athletes in our area competing. Now